Right. In the last video, we created or improved upon our simple web page. And what we learned was how these block elements, these divs, interact within the body. And then we also learned how to style the body plus style the different divs. And we first did it by inline styling. And then we did create a CSS file, which is linked here. And that CSS file allows us to kind of make one change and that change apply to the rest of the like block elements in there. So now that we know the basics of HTML and CSS, we can go ahead and manipulate our first HTML custom info box. In the description in the blog, I have this link for you. Let's take you to this GitHub page for this tutorial. And what it is, is it has a CSS file already in there. Uh, if you want to grab that, feel free to read it. And it goes with all of my templates. But for this case, we're just going to use this very simple HTML training template, which is a one image with a description and a footer. And you can see, or you should be able to see, that it's the same as all the other documents. We have your doc type, your HTML, your head, and then your body open and close tags. There's a couple of new tags we're going to learn, but not that many. To grab this, there's probably an easier way. I normally just go to raw and then hit control A for to grab it all and then control C to copy it. I'm going to create a new HTML file in my training folder. So again, it's that little icon right here that says new file. And I'm going to call this one first earth HTML dot HTML. Remember that that extension dot HTML tells VS Code what language that we're actually going to be using. Go ahead and right click and then paste my code there. I'm going to shrink it here real quick so you can see it a little bit better or see more of it. And you'll notice that it, there's a lot of green here. And what that green is, it means that I've comment out the HTML. So the browser is not actually going to render this HTML anything in green. I'll show you here. Let me go ahead and snap this in place. I'll open this in Live Server. And you'll see that the in Live Server, it says simple image because that's the title of it. Um, in Live Server, there's nothing here. And the way that all of the templates work that you're going to be using, that I've created, it's going to put the media at the top. So the media could be an image or a carousel of images or a video or an iframe. Then you'll have this content block where you'll put the title and then the description. And then lastly, a footer at the bottom or it should be at the bottom. You'll notice in this page that there is a little bit of JavaScript here for Material Design Lite. It's a CSS framework that kind of makes everything look really professional and I don't have to type everything out. And the style sheet that's in that GitHub is me overriding some of the features in Material uh, Blue Gray Design. And I don't, you don't have to know that for anything, but that's just why you see this script down here and it's referring to this Material Design. What you do need to know is that this comment and how to comment in and out. So the starting of a comment block is a less than sign exclamation point dash dash and to end the comment you put dash dash greater than sign. So I'm going to do this on the media first. I'm going to highlight the entire thing and then hit control forward slash and that should look very familiar with rainbow tags. I'm going to hit control s to save it. And you'll see that there's an image here, an image source, and then there's a hyperlink. Those are the two new tags that I think we're going to learn here real quick. Let me get the screen a little bit larger and go over. So inside this, these, all these div elements, you'll see this image tag. And because it's an empty element, there's, you know, no text that you include in the image. All you need is the tag IMG for image. There's a class there that says image. That's so I can style it for later. But the image itself is right here. So it's pointing to an image hosted somewhere on the net. And that's all you need. That's the only tag you need to create an image. And then underneath that image, there's this div right now. And it it's using an anchor link. 
So an anchor link is A, and then there's a close tag A, and then Google Earth in the middle. So it's just this part right here. And to click on that, so the page knows where to direct you, there's an A and then an href. And then this is equals, and the in quotations is where you put the actual link. You'll notice that there's a target equals underscore blank there. That's in quotations as well. But this is why you have a thousand tabs opened up on your browser. Because when I click this link, I don't want it to replace this page with the new web page. I actually want it to target blank, meaning open up in a new tab. So that's what that target blank means. There's another href in here. I call them href. I know that they're anchor tags, but uh, I normally just call them hrefs. It's down here at the bottom. And it's where the logo of the footer is. So there's this Twitter going to my my Twitter, right? Target blank. But instead of being around Google Earth text, it's around an image, right? This image of my logo. I'll go ahead and show that real quick. So I'm going to highlight the footer there and then hit control forward slash and then control S and you'll see that my footer is right there. And you can't see the actual image itself because it's white text. So there's the footer. Notice it's not at the foot. Lastly, I'll take the content out, the comment out. Oops, didn't do that very well. Let me go ahead and highlight the whole thing again and then hit, make sure I want to highlight that. There we go, control forward slash, and then control S, and then there's where the simple image and the image text is. So the first class is title, so this is supposed to be a title, and the next class is in the description box, just text. And you know it's not styled right because you would imagine that the title would be a larger font size at least than the regular description. So this is the unstyled web page for an info panel and Google Earth. The style itself, I'll come up here to this link in the head and then just hit control forward slash. I've turned on the CSS, control S, and that's actually what you look, what you're, it's going to look like in Google Earth. We have the image. The caption is actually, even though it's underneath the image here, it's in this div box. So I'm able to position it on top of the image where it says image source, Google Earth. The title, yes, the class is larger as far as the font size than the description. And then I finally position that footer to the bottom and there's the actual image going to uh, a link going to Twitter. So that's the custom HTML for an info box right there. If you want to, when you to put it in Google Earth, just control A, I'm sorry, come back over here and hit control A and then copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and use that link to get me to Google Earth. So I have all of that HTML code right here copied, right? And all I need to do is now paste it into Google Earth. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project here. So here's Google Earth. Project, create, create project. Let's call this uh, VS Code Fun. And then I'm going to add a simple place mark. A point feature. I'm gonna call this one my, my first custom HTML. Go ahead and add the styling to it. And the style itself is set up for an info box, but it's the large info box, not the small info box. It's very important for spacing reasons. And then we just switch this to HTML, and you'll see it already has a blank HTML page there with the doc type HTML, the head and the body. We're just going to go ahead and replace all of that with our HTML. Hey, what's going on here? Control all, control copy. There we go. Try this again. Replace it with mine. And it's all in there. And the spacing looks all terrible, but that's okay. That's just the way it looks in that. Once it's auto saved, that I can preview, and you'll see that that we have our custom window just the way it was designed here, right? Um, so we basically build a very simple static web page for our custom info boxes, 
in the next one next training what we'll do is we'll style our first questions uh, template and after that we'll style all of our responses our answer templates and then we'll put them all into Google Earth so if you were successful at creating your first custom HTML info window using a simple image the rest is really simple because it's just the same kind of process a little bit different page but it, it, it'll make a lot of sense once we move on and what I would do now is maybe go back and put your own image in here something from the internet maybe put your own link in there if you want to you can put your own footer uh, image here going to your own Twitter account if you want um, and then saving that and try another custom very simple image custom HTML for Google Earth